What's up guys, you're King Knight, this is Phantom X Turk, and I'm wearing a ponytail, I'm still in my workout you know, form, which I'm going to be going to the gym tomorrow once I get my car fixed, but nonetheless, luckily when I found out, it was just a starter, it was just issue with the starter, but it's going to be resolved, so with besides personal stuff, um, there's the reaction to this Final Fantasy mobile game, the city on Opera, Ominous Opera. Because there's people say, oh, how, funny, how come you, first of all, how come you haven't played Vincent? Well, first of all, um, first of all, it's an import only. You can only get this in the Japanese Apple or, um, Microsoft store. You know, and two, I don't have enough room on my phone because that's going to take a lot of room to get graphics. Because it's like PS2 graphics. Even though these are chibi-fied Dissidia characters. And that's why they're able to put more characters that they haven't had in the other Dissidia games like Seymour or, you know, Seymour, Rim. I'm trying to think of what else characters that were in there that wasn't in the Dissidia. You know, Riku, Yuffie, you know, etc. Because it's just a PS2 um, turn-based Dissidia game just to branch. Because one thing about Final Fantasy is they they want to franchise a lot of stuff so and you know what this tank top i'm wearing this by the way if you want to get a badass vincent valentine uh workout tank top like this that you can wear to the gym go to society six uh clothing.com and order yours it's only 26 dollars, but it's worth it they do their custom art and that's actually the custom art that they made for this uh tank top and if you want to get these avid children's sick workout gloves Go to eBay. You get these for I got these for four dollars. Good deal, you know. Now I can't get you a discount because I'm not a YouTube partner, but I, I you know what? I, I give you my word that this is something worth actually investing real money in. But nonetheless, let's get to the reaction, shall we? Okay, should we put this on full screen? Put on full screen. Yeah, there it goes. Mm. All right, take this off. Yeah. All right. So we see a Vincent Lightning. Okay. Why would Vincent just look? Okay, why would Vincent just allow lightning to just do that. Let me watch them again. Just... So it's leg day for Vincent and arm day for lightning. I tell you, they really want to franchise this stuff though. I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta watch it one more time. I need to share it too for people who haven't seen it. I mean, I don't have enough, bat well, like I said, I don't have enough room to do this. If I did, I'd have to give up Brave of Vexus or any other games to do this. But they really want to push, uh, it seems they want to push this game really well because, you know, they actually get these cosplayers to go into the gym and work out. So they really, like, you got, you got lightning. That's obviously lightning because I could tell by the outfit. And, of course, that's Vincent, of course. But nonetheless... Uh, none, nonetheless, dude, it's like, I mean, I would get into Opera, you know, Ominous, because it's pretty much a turn-based Dissidia adventure game. It's pretty much Dissidia uh, adventure game spinoff. Now, I'm going to get real, I'm only going to get real hyped and holler and scream and, and go out of my way and go crazy and act extra if they throw Vincent Valentine in Dissidia Arcade. If they throw Vincent Valentine into City Arcade, then I'm gonna be going like, "Oh yeah!" I'd be you know, I'd be extra, but I don't really play very. I mean, I, I'm trying to get out of the mobile game stuff because it's like, I mean, I'm not getting anywhere in these mobile games. I'm gonna be quite honest, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting good stuff. I'll eventually, I'll, I'll still play some. I still play my Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and I still play my Final Fantasy. Brave of Vexus from time to time, but it's like, you know, I don't know. 
it's just fun to play when you're out in the when you're out at work or you're out you know with your friends and getting coffee and all that stuff, you know, or you're at a mall waiting for somebody. I don't know. It's it's fun to pull out those for once in a while, but I'm not really much of a mobile person. I'm more of a console game person, and I just gotta say that right now. So I mean, this would excite me a lot more if this was to happen in the city of arcade where we get Vincent Valentine, then I'll be acting extra. But otherwise, I mean, this is a pretty good commercial. I mean, I know they had to spend some because the costumes are really good. Like, that Vincent cosplayer is way better than me. I'm just going to say it straight up. This guy beats my ass in whoever's the better Vincent Valentine cosplayer, you know, obviously, because they paid... They bought, like, that's actually a steel glove that that guy, the steel gauntlet, that's the claw, that's actually a steel one, just just by looking at it, you know, so they really upped their game. Now, again, it's on the exercise machines, don't know what that really is about, but, alright, cool, but, you know, I mean, they spent a lot on this commercial, it looks real great, I'm not gonna, you know, I gotta say, this, this, this is actually one of the funniest commercials actually this is actually the one of the best commercials I've ever seen ever even though this is Japanese TV this is the best commercial I've ever seen we'll never I'll tell you we'll never get commercials like this in on T on American TV on American television you'll never get commercials like this well, of course the city you know opera ominous is only an import only because their phones can handle ps2 graphics stuff because here, our phones can't handle that. We can't even hold, like, see, 15 uh, photos without overflowing our data. Unless you get, like, the highest gig of phone. So, I doubt Opera Ominous is going to come to America. So, there's really no point in getting it into it. But, uh, I gotta say, the commercials on point. Like, this is actually the best commercial. I wish we could get this stuff on American TV. So may the crystal be with you. I'm going to get ready to go to bed because I'm getting really tired. And may the crystal be with you. And yeah, if you really want to have a bit uh, an ice workout shirt that you can go to the gym and work out and show your body, go to society6.com. Uh, go, to, go to society6clothing.com. Not only you, they don't just only sell Final Fantasy artwork on their stuff. They have other games like Devil May Cry, some Overwatch, just other game categories with their own custom artwork on their tank tops, on their workout tank tops. And they don't just only work on tank tops. They do regular shirts, like regular short sleeve, long sleeve shirts, uh, you know, um, sweaters, hoodies. They even do floor rugs, big floor rugs. You know those rugs you put in your room? They even do that with the same artworks as your tank top and stuff like that. Very good quality. And even coffee mugs too. So if you want a coffee mug from there, you can get one that's of the design you want. Like let's say you want this design, you can. So go to society6.com. Um, also, I want to also, uh, also put a little sponsor. This is also brought to you by Anytime Fitness. It's anytime, 24-7, no judgment zone, and pretty much you can build up how many times and whenever you want and anytime and any how you want, only at anytime fitness. So may the crystal be with you. Thank you.